I can help. These body parts scream manifest my spectre. Present yourself! Look to me! Watch out. Spectre possession. Ready and waiting. This bite's not easily chewed. This isn't over yet. That corpse is gonna shoot.
They're feeding off their own rage. I can help. Something spectral nearby. I feel something close. Red, there is something wicked placed upon this. I can sense it. You can just sense it? It's hidden, even for me. But I can hear its dark will. Like a curse, or a spell. A curse or a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this.
something's here. Hidden. Funeral! It was weird. Well, pleasant. There was essence tied to the altar, but it's all used up. I feel rested. Unbent. Mentally and physically. I feel something close.
done, Red. This is getting serious. Have some of that. I don't know you. Red McCraith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. Are you friends with Kate Newsmith? If I was, why would I tell you? All right. Can I instead ask what you do? You can. Well, what do you do? I'm a safeguard. I safeguard Squire Paris. I safeguard his goods. I safeguard his shop. I safeguard his life. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why is that? The Abanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believe the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either. No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. I'll leave you then. Good day. Good day, Nelly. All the better for your presence, Mr. McRae. Let's trade, Mrs. Eaton. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. E. Thank you for your in... I'd be glad to help, but after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco and 
wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it, the eucopia. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Daniel. I do not. But I assure you that I have taken note of your demand. When New Eden opens to the world once more, then I shall move to meet your need. You shall have the finest Boston nails. The blacksmith may moan, or he may make better nails himself. This is the way of the world. A bright future awaits us, Daniel. I look forward to it, Mr. Paris. But if I can't get good nails now, there ain't no future at all. <laughs> Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. I'll bid you good day. Good day, Nelly. All the better for you. Let's trade, Mrs. Eden. All right, let's. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eden. Thank you for your interest.
So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? I found two hauntings in camp. Fixed them both. Two? Really? There are likely more, but those two at least are ended. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams... Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here. On the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out, making the rounds, hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone. She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. 
Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? <laughs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Take your pick. Everyone around here needs help, though they know it or not. I'll take my leave. I do. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan Macraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. My big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. What are their names? <sighs> what? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do.
Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. I can give no order, but you return from the hunt and countermand it. Lo, the halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O oh great saviour. Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. Long story short, you had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And Taya died. Your lost pains is. But a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. Is there news from New Eden Town? When you went to the meeting house, I gathered me flock and left. I've heard nothing since. Your faith in us gladdens my heart. I wasn't wrong, was I? But folk here still believe in you. What became of those who stayed? Dead. Or near it. I'm neither foolish enough nor mad enough to go find out. She thinks you're a madman or a fool. Maybe I'm both. Don't crow. Foolish madmen abound. What about the missing group of refugees? What about them? Kate told me they went missing before reaching your camp. Any chance they survived in the woods? Not the slightest. Otherwise, they would already be here. Those poor bastards are long dead. Where lies the future for you? For the camp? For the people here? The plan was to walk across the mountains, but the cold put an end to that. For now, we stay. Till the weather lifts. The weather and the fear. They must feel the sun on their faces again and courage in their hearts. Courage rises in the darkness, woman. The sunshine follows after. You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. It seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. It is honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. 
Why not kill it yourself? Because when the Banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. I'll hunt your beasts, whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I... Predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings getting up? Away. Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. Don't you have business elsewhere? Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Killing the beast helps everyone. Your sister only means to protect you. She traps me. I cannot leave camp unarmed, and she knows it. She wants me to give up my freedom and hand it to you. Not a chance. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. You and your sister don't much like each other, do you? No, we love each other. And everyone here owes her their lives. But... Uh... Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. As do I, Scotsman. You may have the gun. Now be so kind as to leave me be. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half-cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt.
The more I know Thick Skin, the more I like her. Is it a kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. But is she wrong? Life can be cruel. Perhaps she's right to embrace the cruelty. Climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. May I pass? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. You and Kate walk the woods yourselves, do you not? Sometimes, and it's no gift. Kate's quick-tempered when she's not closed off. They say her heart were broke once. It never mended. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the Broken-Hearted Girl. Her defensiveness makes more sense now. Perhaps when this is over, she shall make peace with it. A target for your new toy. Ten guineas says you can't shoot as sweetly as you talk. You were lucky. I am lucky. I'm also a phenomenal marksman. Both of these things are true. So, where do we find this beast? Well, not far from the missing settlers, I'll wager. That is quite the landslide. No way in or out. Oh, a mine. An old abandoned mine. How wonderful. And our only way through. Ha! 
brought more friends. Watch out. Spectre position. That beam is literally hanging by a thread. Twenty guineas says you miss your first shot. See? Easy. Not so easy when the target fights back. Heading for that corpse. Yeah, that's more of. I think I heard the sound of a gun. We island guess for you. Well, in we go then. I love these old underground places. I don't. Oscar Castle nearly cost me an eye. <laughs> Investigating the cellar was your idea, remember?
Daylight ahead. I'll take it. Let's go. Do you think this place is haunted? I'd almost welcome the distraction. Oh, shite! Under threat. Die, you
Shouldn't we make for the daylight? See anywhere that could help. Keep searching here. Won't let you fall. I know. Oh, oh, I'm glad it's you throwing me around. Keep it that way. Strange tracks. Something passed this way. Something huge. Hell, this is grim. If this keeps up, there won't be a wolf left in New England. Forced its way through here, dug up all the wolves. And plucked them out. If the beast did this, then it must be bloody enormous. If the beast did this, then it must be corporeal.
Not even the youngling survived. What could have done this? Vengeance. Vengeance incarnate. A memory ripples here. Whatever butchered the wolves spoke as one with many voices. Any spirits in borrowed flesh? Could it be a scourge? Yes, a scourge. Powerful and... And very angry. Closer than I would have liked. That howl, like many souls screaming as one. I thought scourges were rare. Have you ever faced one? Once. A trade ship into Bordeaux sank in a storm. The slaves came back as a scourge. To banish it, I made 50 pounds of bane powder and shot it with a cannon. By then, it had killed the captain and half the crew and the ship's owner. Tragic, really. Back to possession. This fight's not easily chewed. Change targets. Tormented. Get rid of the other Spectre first. Ask for help if you need it.
Fancy that, a body, and there are teeth marks. He's not like being dead yet this way, is he? I think I heard the sound of a gun. They're feeding off their own way. gonna shoot. The longer path is safer, you must take it. Why won't you come with us then? The quickest she'll go ahead. We'll wait with food and shelter ready, then we'll all travel on together. Nicholas here shall walk with you. There'd be no better shot among us. Do you agree, Doolan? I'll do my best for you, Samuel. Of course I will. But if thick skin says we'll be safe, I believe it. In the wild, we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. Someone is generous with her whistles. Much use they were to this poor bugger. 
If this Doolin fellow was meant to protect the missing group, I dread to think what became of them. It was wise to split the group. The larger the band, the slower it moves. It wasn't a cattle drive. We're talking about people. Thick skin was practical. She knew what she was doing. Aye, that much is clear. If wisps did they come back to bite, I'd almost feel sorry for these ones being caged. What are spirit snares doing out here? I believe we should come to terms with the fact that New Eden brims with demonologist craft. Someone was here, some time ago. Take heart indeed. Maybe they're still out there somewhere. Maybe. Papers, half bond. It says here that Kate loved a woman named Deborah. Would let her die. Younger Newsmith has a low opinion of herself. Hence the wish to be tough like her sister. <laughs> 